The following program is rated G. It is suitable for all audiences. Davao City is one of the safest places in the Philippines, but last year, the city had not escaped from the wrath of Mother Nature. Naigo sa kalit ng pagbaha ang Davao City kagabi, tungod sa pag-awa sa Pangi River. Daghang balay ang gibanlas, dala ang mga daghang tao nga nangalumos o nangamatay. This river may look like a peaceful one, but this river had killed about 30 innocent lives. At about 11 p.m. on June 28, 2011, a flash flood surprisingly came in few barangays in Davao City, which caused human and property damages to thousands of innocent families. It was one of the most tragic events that the city had experienced. It has been a year since a sudden flash flood happened and killed about 30 people here in Medina Pangi. But the affected people hadn't forgotten the pain that a flash flood had caused them. Arroyo Compound in Barangay 74-A, the most affected area and had 14 human casualties, remember their lost loved ones on the anniversary of the tragic event with a prayer that hopefully it won't happen again. The residents placed 14 candles on a trunk of a banana tree and let it float on the river that took their loved ones. The flash flood didn't just happen because of simple reasons, but because of the little and big things people did. Wastes or garbages of undisciplined people can block the water flow of rivers like in Medina Pangi. When garbages get in the way of the passages that help in draining water on land, it could contribute in making flash flood possible. Davao City is known for its richness in natural resources, 
which is now slowly decreasing because of the urbanization made by selfish people. They weren't thinking of the possible effects that might happen for they only think on how to make themselves richer. This single piece of garbage is one of the causes of flash flood. As people continuously throw anything like this, the disaster could happen again. The affected people and the local government joined together to make the barangay clean as part of their action in preventing another disaster from happening. The people are now mentally aware on how to keep their surrounding clean and far from danger. Another way of prevention is through strict observance of city ordinance number 0361 by segregating waste properly and by disposing garbage appropriately. Pangi River should not be treated as garbage bin. Cleanliness should always start at home by first disciplining the young ones and show them a good example. We could prevent this kind of disaster from happening if we have a common goal, which is to make Mother Nature contented and protected. We are just God's towards. So let us make our best and to make bad things that could hurt this precious world. Oh. <laughs> 